everybody, welcome back to Fandom Fights. We've got another tournament match for you here today. I am Tim, joined by Nick. Nick, how are you? I'm Nick. That's Tim. We are, we are here. Very excited. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is the last match of round number two, uh, as we alluded to in yesterday's match. Uh, this is Schizo versus Iowish Bros. Winner of this match will go on to play yesterday's Victor. Don't want to spoil that quite yet. I will wait for the end of the match to talk to the winner. Of that. But uh, yeah, Nick, how are you feeling about Schizo taking on Iowish Bros? Uh, I'm excited. Iowish Bros, maybe one of the big surprises uh, coming out around one uh, upsetting some people's favorite to win the tournament Necronomicon being the 15 seed uh, making it to round two is a big deal. Uh, and schizo, not, not a lot of people uh, talking about them. Like when we, when we sort of did the big breakdown at the beginning, but now looking at what's left, I think you got to think that schizo can make a run at this thing. So I'm just real excited to see what happens. Absolutely. Well guys, let's get into it right away with the promo. All right, look at us. Who would have thought it? Not me. Uh, no, I, uh, I, I, call, I called this uh, before the tournament happened. I knew we were going to be here. I had a lot of faith in this team. We were able to game plan hard enough to take Necronomicon out. But for everyone else, uh, sat there and went, what the fuck? Uh, and so to the people saying, what the fuck? He that included it. me. Uh, by the way. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Not what the fuck they want. Uh, there's literally no pressure on us here. Uh, we came in. We are prepared. We're ready to play our game. Uh, Rizzy and Eli do not care about this match. Uh, Rizzy is playing from a car. Last time we played Jay, who likes to play from the back of a freezer. I think this is a common tr uh, thread of people we're playing. Uh, but, you know, best of luck to you guys. Uh, there's literally no pressure on us. So. Anything you want to say, Doc? No, yeah, team no pressures here. Um, excited to play. I, I've uh, never played Dom before, and I like to pretend like I haven't played Eli before. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, manners make it man. Let's play. All right, so Koho is once again proven to have no consideration for other people's lives. Sounds about right, considering the fact that I'm pretty sure that outside of his room and trivia, I don't think he actually does anything else. So, you know what? We'll give this one to him. Um, Eli, I don't know about you, but I felt great after our last win against Jake and Antonio, and I'm looking just as much forward to seeing these guys in the ring because Cameron is a hell of a player. I don't know why he's underplaying himself. And Doug, like I said, Doug, coming out of nowhere, surprised the shit out of me, you know? I had, uh, I easily had Jay and Mark peg for this match. But look, I'm happy to be playing them. And, uh, yeah, I think the rest of you guys are happy to be here too. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb. I'm 100% ready for this match. I am... Very much looking forward to playing Doug and Cameron because when I heard that they won, I was like, oh, this is cool. Everyone was not expecting that to win. I am very much watching and looking forward to going up against them because I, once I heard they won, I decided, okay, we can't take them lightly. So I'm, I'm not taking them lightly. I know you're not taking them lightly. Our manager over there has been making sure that we were not taking them lightly. Look, we're not the king of long promos here, so we'll let co-host still hold that record. So, Nazar, you have anything else you want to say? I'm just confused because Mark Kamayer told me that Necronomica only loses title matches, and yet they're not here. That's yeah, it. looks like uh, one thing I've learned is not to trust Mark Kamayer. Look, Schizo is ready to play. Let's get this started. I am in danger. Uh... <laughs> Uh, the, that was, that was, I, I don't understand what's happening. I don't get it. I don't understand this world that we live in. Uh, what did you think about the promos, Nick? I think they both started those promos by saying, all right. That's true. That is a, uh, Caleb Coho. All right. Okay. Well, with that, we are going to get into round number one. Here is how it's going to work. Each team is going to get 10 questions. From, from 10 different categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is, or each, uh, question is worth one point apiece. If a player gets all 10 questions correct, they will be issued a bonus question. Each team has three repeats 
and a challenge rule for the entirety of the match. Hey guys, any questions as we get into round number one of the match? We're ready. No. Oh. Okay, question number one then is going to be in the category of DC. In Batman Returns, what government position does the Penguin run for? We can talk about penguins, or we can talk about uh, the government. Tim, which would you prefer? <laughs> Neither. Uh <-huh. laughs> For... I prefer the emperor penguin. Three, one. Pen down. Uh, we'll start with Dom. Mayor. And Doc. Mayor. Eli. Good old mayor. And Doug. Mayor. Clean and sweet. What's question two, Nick? Question number two is in the category of Disney live action. What 90s Disney live action film features Charlie Sheen as a religious womanizer? Tim, we can talk about religion or uh, womanization. <laughs> hmm. Or penguins again. Let's do penguins again. Let's do penguins again. It's good. It's good. Four, three. Let's talk about Charlie Sheen. Okay, Doug got a repeat in there. Oh, I read the question. What 90s Disney live action film features Charlie Sheen as a religious womanizer? It's going to be the first repeat for Iowa Bros. Did you know, Nick, Iowa famously standing uh, for both Iowa and Irish? Uh, because they both start with the letter I. Yes, it's it's kind of like if I uh, if I had my like two year old cousin say the word Irish, that's the name of this team. Five, four, Irish. Two, one. <laughs> Pens down. We'll start with Doc on this one. Uh, the Three Musketeers, and then we'll go to Eli. The Three Musketeers. Doug. I didn't have it. And Dom. Um, I didn't have it either. Okay. So we stay tied up three to three as we get into the next question, which is Bond. What Bond girl does Honor Blackman play in Goldfinger? Um, I watched this movie a few nights ago, and it was uh, delightful, save for a few cringe aspects. Yeah, there were some. I, I messaged you about it immediately. You did. <laughs> Five. Oh, my. Oh, finger. The man with the minus touch. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Eli. Her name is Pussy Galore. And Doug. All right, and Dom. Um, Pussy Galore. I must be dreaming. That is the line. Uh, and Dom. Uh, Pussy galore. That is correct. Uh, five four as we get into your next question in the category of Rocky. Where does Rocky watch the first fight between Donnie and Victor Drago in Creed 2? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then I'm testing questions and I read something. They're like, which movie, motherfucker? And I'm like, uh, uh, The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> the one with Victor Drago? <laughs> one bends down. Uh, we're to Doug. Uh, Adrian's? And then uh, Rizzy. From Adrian's. And Doc. Dang it, I changed my answer to hospital. And Eli. I said Adrian, specifically, like, Rocky's Restaurant. That is correct. So, if they'll take the 7-5 lead as we get into the next one, which is in the category of Planet of the Apes. What is the name of the gorilla who travels with Maurice, Rocket, and Caesar and dies saving Caesar's life in war for the Planet of the Apes? Uh, Mild uh, spoilers for war for the Planet of the Ape. Mild. Mild. Oh, it's a good movie, though. 
Yeah. Cool. Now they're going to know that they travel. What? Pens down. They do a lot. Uh, Rizzy. Didn't have it. Doc. I know they don't like this term, but my guess is monkey. Eli. Sorry, I cut it. I said Henry. And Doug. Bad ape. Also incorrect. We were looking for Luca. Oh. Uh, your next question is in the category of Star Wars. In what movie does Anakin Skywalker wield a green lightsaber? Um, if you could have a lightsaber, what color would it be? Uh, like tie. Do you need the full title? Uh, we can accept just the, the subtitle. Uh, yes, uh, tie dye, or maybe like a lava lamp kind of effect in a so light. It kind of like floats there. Yeah. Like if I just turned it on and sort of like stuck it in the middle of the room, you know, like the lights would be all the walls would be changing colors. I, I prefer to use mine as like a bug zapper. Like, okay, that's good. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. It pens down. I think we are to Doc. It's an Attack of the Clones. And Eli. Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Doug. I put Attack of the Clones. And Rizzy. Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. All are correct. It is 9 to 7 as we get into the next one, which is in the category of Oscars. What was the last Disney animated film to be nominated for Best Original Song? <clears throat> you know, I, uh, I had a friend named Oscar once. Yeah? He was a bit, bit of a grouch. I was about to say, you live in a trash can. <laughs> uh, he is green and doesn't exist. <laughs> and he's a puppet. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we'll start with Eli. Frozen 2. Doug. I can see Toby. And uh, Rizzy. Frozen 2. And Doc. Frozen 2. The Frozen 2 is correct. Your next question is in the category of Star Trek. In Star Trek, the undiscovered country, on Ruripente, Bones and Kirk meet a cameloid named Martia, who has the power to do what? Now, Nick, I'm going to look into the future a few weeks, and I'm going to predict that the words Ruripente will come to bite me in the ass. <laughs> That's a good, uh, some good, uh, future. <laughs> Not necessarily bite me in the ass, just make me go. Fair. Well, you know what, Tim? There's plenty of time between now and the future. That's true. Maybe you go, go watch. <laughs> uh, Doug, we'll start with you. Telepathy. And Rizzy. Dip ship. And Doc. I was on Doug's wavelength. Read minds. <laughs> and Eli. I said heal people. Uh, Ridley's the only one that is correct. Shape shift is the correct answer. Uh, we are now at the penultimate question. In the category of Marvel. What is the full real name of the villain, the lizard, in The Amazing Spider-Man? We do need first and last name. <laughs> I like this movie. Yeah. It's fine when you think about it. The suit's a little dark. I mean, it's supposed to be red and blue, not red and black. Come on. Come on. These days, making things different colors. What are they Wait, doing? Are they trying to make like a Dark Knight movie or something? This is a Spider-Man. You know, it's got to be bright and colorful. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we'll start with Rizzy. Dr. Kurt Connors. And uh, Doc. Kurt Connors. Eli. Kurt Connors. And Doug. I couldn't pull the first name. All right. Kurt Connors is correct. It's now 14 to 9 going into the final question. Uh, the final question is in the category of Pixar. 
In Ratatouille, Skinner's lawyer had to have Linguini's hair sample re-examined because the first time it came back as what? This movie is a delight. Yeah. This is your Pixar material right here. Anyone can make a movie. Movie. Movie is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can make a move to one <laughs> town. Uh, I believe we are to Doc. Rat. And Eli. As rat hair. And Doug. I didn't have it. And Rizzy. Nope, I had a match in Gusto's DNA. I had it the second time. Okay, so um, I think we can give that to Doc and Eli. That makes it 15 to 10. Is that what you have, Nicholas? Is what I have. All right. So it is a five-point game going into round number two. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. Each team is going to have a chance to spin the lovely wheel. Uh, if you don't like what you spin the first time, you can choose to spin again, but you got to keep whatever you spin. The second time, um, you get five questions worth two points apiece. You can go to multiple choice. But then that devalues the question down to being worth one. Uh, I wish bro has two repeats left. Schizo has all three. And both still have their challenge. Guys, it's getting dark out there. It's getting spooky. And steals are available. So look out. Okay. Uh, we'll bring in Nazario. As Schizo is in the lead. And the categories on the wheel today are Planet of the Apes, Jurassic Park, Fandom Oscars, Marvel, James Bond, Fandom Quotes, Wizarding World, and Rocky. So having heard the categories, Schizo, would you like to go first or second at the wheel? Guys, hear me out real quick. We do have the option to go first, only because even if we don't get a category that we like this time, we could still steal from them when they go second. True. I mean, you can bury them right now if you want to, but there I don't know if there's a couple of things you'd rather want to avoid. So uh, if you feel what's like... It, what's it up to you guys? What are you thinking, Eli? Uh, I was thinking we go second, but if Dom's very confident in going first, I say we can I'm go I'm feeling first. confident because remember, Eli, if we get something good here, we bury them here and now. All right. I'm, I'll follow you. All right. We're going first. All right, so this will be the spin for Schizo. Your first spin is in, and it lands on opponent's choice. <laughs> of course it does. Yikes. Uh, That's so a, that was just unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I think, can we hear the categories again real quick? Yeah. yeah the options okay. are Planet of the Apes, Jurassic Park, Fandom Oscars, Marvel, James Bond, Fandom Quotes, Wizarding World and Rocky. I think we give him Park. Last time Rizzy got a pony choice and Park, he went five for ten. So I think Parks are is a really good option. Super deep, I, super difficult. I'm I'm okay with that if you are, Doug. I'm good. Let's give him Jurassic right. Park. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we are uh, going to be giving Schizo questions in Jurassic Park. Nick, would you like to go ahead and give Schizo their questions? Sure, Schizo. Are you prepared for your questions in the category of Jurassic Park? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, your first question. How does Simon Mizrani tell Claire she can measure the animal's happiness in Jurassic World? Eli, I, I know the answer, but I don't want to screw up on the wording. I think we go multiple choice. That's where my brain is Yeah, multiple going. choice. Okay, and then, Dom, I know you're not doing anything, but can you just make sure that other hand uh, is Yeah, sorry, right. yep. Okay, uh, Okay. so your multiple choice options are A, their eyes, B, their smile, C, the amount of attention they get, or D, how well behaved they are. It's their eyes. All right. Yeah, final eyes, answer. final answer. That is correct for one point. Your second question. In Jurassic Park, how is Nedry related to Hammond? I didn't even remember that they were related. I thought he just worked for him. Wait, that could be what they... Let's go to multiple choice just to make sure... Yeah, multiple like, choice. Yeah, because I think related sort of means like how do they know each other too, but 
the yeah, word multiple again. choice. Multiple choice. Okay. Uh, your multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, son, B, stepson, C, nephew, D, cousin. Well, they are well, actually then, related. Shit, I didn't know that. I would say nephew, honestly. Yeah, nephew probably sounds the most accurate. Yeah. You want to so, nephew? Yeah, yeah nephew. All right, final. nephew, final answer. Uh, nephew is incorrect. We will go to I wish for a one point seal. Your options again are A, son, B, stepson, C, nephew, D, cousin. I think it might be cousin. Cousin? Uh, are you, are you confident? I, I was leaning I stepson, but think... I honestly don't know. I'm okay with any of them because honestly, I didn't know they were related either. <laughs> I I think cousin. Three. Okay, cousin. cousin final, final answer. That is also incorrect. We were looking for stepson. Sorry. It's okay. It was I a while. Maybe know they were related. <laughs> Uh, Schizo, your third question in the category of Jurassic Park. <laughs> what does what does InGen nickname Ela Sorna in the Lost World Jurassic Park? Oh, site man. B. It's Site B. All right, I trust you. Yeah, Site B, final answer. Site B is correct for two points. Your fourth question. Who plays Eli Mills? The man who sends Claire to the island in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. That's uh, Rafe Spall. Um, Eli. Yeah, Rafe Spall, final answer. Yeah, we have, we have Rafe Spall, final answer. Uh, that's correct, two points. Uh, how did they pronounce that before they said the final answer? Uh, uh, Rafe Spall. I heard Rafe Spall from Eli, final answer first. Rafe Spall is what we Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, the fifth question in Jurassic Park for Skipto. How many years passed between the release of Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World? Okay, Jurassic Park 3 came out in... It's 01 15. and 15, so it's 14 years. All right. Yeah, 14 years, final answer. That's correct for another two points. All right, so Skipto gets their total up to 22. That's what I have. Okay. So we will move over to Iowich for their uh, spin of the wheel. Oh, my. All right. All right. Here's the spin for Iowish. Lands on Wizarding World. Would you like to keep that or spin again? How are you feeling, Doug? I, I might be leaning on you on this one, so. I feel okay. Um, Do you guys want to try and spin again? or I don't know how much of a risk we really put ourselves at. The biggest thing is gone. We don't have to worry about that now. But. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly, I'd say let's swing for something that we could possibly go okay. to. Okay. Spin okay. Again. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Spin again. You are stuck with whatever you land on this time. You land on Marvel. Okay. Regular old Marvel. All right. I wish I will give you your questions in Marvel. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yep. All right. Your first question. Which Marvel film features a laser spectroscope, a neutron disintegrator, and the dark overlords of the universe? I'm pretty sure it's Howard the Duck. That that sounds right to me, so go for it. Howard the Duck, final answer. That is correct for two points. Yeah. I had to think about it for a second, sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. Your second question. What falls out of Peter's pocket during his fight with New Goblin at the beginning of Spider-Man 3? That's... The it's ring. The ring. Uh, yeah. it, it's more specifically, it's Aunt May's wedding ring. Or Aunt May's ring. But, yeah, uh, I, th I, th I think uh, that would be good. Yeah. Aunt Go May's on. ring, final answer. I think we can accept that for two points. I agree. All right, your second, or your third question, I'm sorry. Whose murder does Bullseye frame Daredevil for in 2003's Daredevil? It's Electra's father. Do they need the specific name, though? That's the only thing. I 
I mean, I I'll I'll know it when I hear it, but I don't want to. They're gonna know it. Mm-hmm. Five, four. Let's three. just do it multiple choice. Uh, multiple choice, please. All right, your Sorry. options are A. Electra Nachios. B. Karen Page. C. Nicholas Nachios. Or D. Wilson Pitt. Nicholas Nachios. Final answer. That is correct for one point. Sorry. No, no worries. Your fourth question. Who plays the villainous Blackheart? In Ghost Rider. I cut out. Yeah. <laughs> Who plays the villainous Blackheart in Ghost Rider? Oh, shit. Um, oh, ha, ha, ha. That's not Wes Bentley, is it? No, it's... Uh, wait. I might be thinking of the wrong thing. No, well, I think you're thinking of the right thing. Because uh, that's not the devil. Blackheart is his son. Oh. Wes Bentley, final answer. That is correct for two points. <laughs> and your final question. Good pull. At the end of Dark Phoenix, who takes over as headmaster of Xavier's school? Um, it's not Hank, is it? Oh, it God. might be. I'm really not sure, though. You want to just go multiple choice just in case? I, I, I think we really should, yeah. Multiple choice, please. Okay, your options are A, Storm, B, Gene, C, Hank, or D, Eric. It's, it's got to be Hank because it's definitely not Eric, and the other two are too young. Yeah. That, I uh, Hank, that. final answer. That is correct for one point. All right. All right. So sorry you, to add you. No, it's okay. No, I I'd rather be safe on that. All right. At the end of round number two, uh, Iwish gets their total up to eighteen, but they are still behind Schizo, who have uh, twenty-two. Is that what you have, Nick? Yep. All right. It is a four-point game. Let's get into round number three. It's the betting round. Here's how it works. We're going to say the category. The team is going to have to pick which member of the team is going to take the question in that category. <laughs> Excuse me. They can bet zero, one, or two points. Um, if you get the question right, you win those points. You get the question wrong, uh, you lose those points. Whoever uh, doesn't take the first question has to take the second. You can reset on questions three and four and work together on question five. And the first category that you guys will be able to bet points on is in the category of the IA disability. Eli, you want to take that one or should I? I mean, I would have the worst time on it, honestly. All right. I'll yeah, take a bullet and I'll, I'll buy you another great one. Way, guys. Maybe, maybe we can use Eli in this one and then Dom can get the next one in case it's something is more beneficial. And right. we can go, yeah, that's we true. Can Let's go see that. I'll take it. Or, you know, land right. before time. All right. All right. Eli, you take this one. Just remember, bet smart. All right. What was that, Nazario? Land before time. Gotcha. All right. Uh, which one of you two feels better about YA? Um, I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, I, I, I don't feel great except for Maze Runner I've seen recently, but the rest is kind of... Okay. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, Doug, take it. What do you think, betting? If you feel good, go for it. But if you're not sure, then don't don't blow everything on this yet. Yeah. Yeah, no. no uh, so it's only four betting. points, so it's only four yeah. points. Yeah. I'm going to find a new marker. We're good. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's get bets starting with Eli. Zero. Okay. And Doug. I also want zero. Okay. This is going to be a stats only question. And here's the question. While escaping the tunnels in Mockingjay Part 2, who sacrifices themselves in order for Katniss to escape up the ladder? You ever sacrifice yourself for the escape? <laughs> uh,. Yes. That was, awesome. very, that was very nice of you. Yeah. 
that was a lie. I'm a selfish human being. <laughs> but, four, three, two, one. The pen's down. Eli, we'll start with you. I said Finnick. And Doug. I said Hamish. Finnick is correct. Uh, so, uh, no points bet, though. So, we stay 22 to 18 as we get into the next category, which is in what? Next category is in DC. All right. That's me. You're muted. Sorry, you're muted. muted. All right, Doc. Nazario, you're muted. Sorry, we cannot hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you at all. I don't know. If you're <laughs> uh, Dom, how are you feeling yeah. on this? Seat? 50 right now, but I'm still confident that we're good as far as bets go. Okay, then. Go ahead. What, I don't, what do you think? I, uh, how confident do you feel about DC? I feel decent about like half of them is the thing. So I'll, be honest, be I'll be honest with you. I think you can take the shot. I think you, okay. I think you can handle it if you took the I shot. I trust you, man. Okay. 100%. All right. I'm good. Good. good managers. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Let's get bets starting with Doc. Two. And Dom. Zero. All right. So zero from Dom, two from Doc. What's the question, Nick? Your question. In which DC film will you find a bomb made of red mercury with the code name Nightshade? Um if you could have a code name, what would you what would you make your code name? Um, Dragon. I like that. Yeah. We we would just have so much more room for activities. So much more. Five, four, three. Repeat the question. All right. Uh, repeating the question in the category of DC. In which DC film? Will you find a bomb made of red mercury with the code name Nightshade? If um, I had a nickname, what would it be? Nighthawk. That makes sense. Because you're dragon. Yeah, boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Four. We crash Cody's boat. Three, two, one. Fence down. Uh, let's go to Dom for stats. Swamp Thing. And uh, Doc. Sorry, Doug. Batman Forever. Both are incorrect. The answer was Red 2. Sorry. All right. So the score is now 22 to 16. As we get into the third category, which is in uh, Oscars. Doc, go. Doc, go. Okay. <laughs> Dom, this is yours. This is Dom. I'll take this one. I just want you guys to remember there is only six points on the table, and you're ahead by six. Yep. So, okay. that's smart. Red are DC movies. Cool. <laughs> they are. They actually are, yeah. Yeah, they are. So, Rizzy and Doc again? Yep. Mm. Rizzy, how many points? Zero. And Doc? Two. All right, the question is, how many MCU films have been nominated for more than one Oscar? Uh, The Macaw is not playing, but she's acting like she is from backstage. Did she get this question right? Five, four, three, two, one. Ends down. All right, we're going to go to Rizzy first for stats. I just put the one because I think it's Black Panther. And Doc. Three. Three is correct. I wish that there are two points back. It is now a four point game. Uh, as we get into the next category, which is what, Nick? Uh, The next category is James Bond. Go, Doug. All right, Eli, bet how you feel. That's all I'm going to say. Bet how you feel. Uh, I still believe it's going to be safe. But unless you feel really good on this, 
I think we go safe. I'm going secretive name. Fair. All right. Uh, let's get bets starting with Doug. Two. And Eli. Zero. All right, what's the question, Nick? The question. In Diamonds Are Forever, Bond goes to see Willard White and is first attacked by White's two female guards, whose names are the same as two early Disney animated characters. Name one of them. Um, Maybe I should write shorter questions. Yeah, that's possible. It's, it's possible. I, I like the question, though, because, you know, you, it's like it's in the category of Bond, but you, like, said some Disney okay. stuff, shaking up the fandom stuff. I like it. Well, I like it. Yeah. Like we put it all in a bag, mixed it up a little bit. It's almost like <laughs> Mixed bag. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Eli for stats. I'm glad I went zero. I just said Aurora. I could... And Doug. Cinderella. And your winner. Get so. Uh, the answer would have been either Bambi or Thumper. Uh, so the final score ends up being 22 to 16. Uh, Nick, final thoughts on the match before I get you out of here because you got some stuff to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, really good match. Um, like I said, I wish uh, they weren't even supposed to be here. And, and they showed that they actually were supposed to be here. Even, even if they didn't win, uh, they played really well. Uh, Schizo definitely showing to be a dominant force that I don't think anyone can count out uh, for the rest of this tournament. Uh, so overall, it was just it was a good match. Uh, two very good teams played today. Absolutely. Um, we'll go over and we'll talk to. Uh, I'll I'll take care of the post match interviews. We'll go over and we'll talk to the second place finishers today, uh, guys. Uh, you didn't make it out of this match, but you played really well. You had a good round one score, and you guys did really well in Marvel when you looked. Kind of nervous about it to begin with. You guys played really well throughout that round. So how are you feeling? I think I'm proud of these two. To be completely <laughs> honest, I have always been really proud of these two. Um, this was a team that we put together because Doug er had earned a spot in here and Jack was unfortunately unable to be here. Uh, Doc was nice enough to be like, sure, I'll try fandom. And we beat, we got out of round one. And that was the only goal we ever had. And we played pretty well tonight. Like I'm pretty proud of us as a team on the whole. Uh, we went through Marvel way better than we thought we would. Uh, I was super impressed with them on that. The betting round just kind of became a bag of categories that we didn't feel great about, and there's nothing you can really do about that. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, we played our best, and I'm incredibly proud of these two. And uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little interested in keeping this team together, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> now that you guys are out of the tournament next season, will we see the Iowish Bros return? I'm not opposed I to it. I, I think if anything has been proven, this guy is a lot better at fandom than he ever led on to us. And Doug is the single most improved player in the history of fandom bites. I think from last season to this season, the growth that Doug has displayed has been insane and I couldn't be prouder of him. Uh, and he, it was on full display this entire tournament. So this team is one that I'm very keen on keeping together. Absolutely. All right. Well guys, uh, Doug, uh, doc, did you want to add anything? No, I'm. Uh, I just said no, and then I was gonna say stuff. So that makes sense. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm. I'm really happy with how we played today. Actually, like I, I think Doug and I worked together really well, and I, I, I had a ton of fun, and I, I've actually really enjoyed playing in this division. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> For a couple of players that weren't supposed to be here, as it's already been stated, we made it to the second round. Uh, I think we did really good. Um, Today wasn't our day, uh, but next season, watch out. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, move over to today's winners, Team Schizo. Guys, uh, you won uh, another match. You are making it into round number three to face another Kingsman team. You are going to be taking on Big Guns, uh, Albert and Nick Parley. How are you guys feeling about that? Feeling really good. Um, oh, yeah, man. All gonna, yeah. All I'm going to say here is that this is the second match that I've played from a car 
that I've won. So, uh, yeah, just take that into consideration. And as for co-host specifically, yeah, once again, just... Uh, be, be, being a dick first and foremost, and then just trying to apologize and say, "Oh, we were never supposed to be here." Afterwards, okay, whatever. Look, Cam and Doug, no disrespect to them, they played amazingly tonight. Doug, again, I think he was way too hard on himself uh, because he played fantastically. But uh, yeah, Eli, I'm just I'm proud of you as my partner, man, and I'm really proud of how we played today. We got another opponent's choice on uh, the the wheel, and it still ended up benefiting us. Yeah, like. When we hit opponent's choice, I was freaked. I was a little nervous. When they gave us Jurassic Park, I was a little nervous. But then when we were able to go through it with only missing, I think, one question, yeah. getting one on on a, on a multiple, multiple choice, choice and then getting the rest of them without it, I was, like, very much, oh, we're, we're, very, we're a great team. And I don't think a lot of people have realized that. And I'm looking forward to going up against big guns. I'll be honest. I was hoping for Ascendant because I wanted that rematch. But going up against big guns is very much I'm I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna be a good match. Uh, Nazario, how do you feel about the way that uh, your team played today? I'm proud of my guys right now. I mean, if this is Rizzy not caring because he's playing from a car, I don't even want to know what he feel like. If you know he cared. Nazario, anyway. I've said it time and time again. I play my best when I give the least amount of shits. <clears throat> Fair. Also. I just want to keep this shit going because uh, Wookiee Mistake is the, on the other side kicking some ass. So maybe we can meet later in the tournament, make it a bunch of criteria people. It will be fun. Yeah, if Wookiee Mistake uh, beats America's asses then and you guys beat the uh, the big guns, it would be a, a double, double header there in the finals. Uh, so that could be interesting. So, uh, guys, congrats on the win today. We'll see you, uh, I, I believe, next week uh, or the week after. I don't remember. In the finals. So we'll see you guys real soon for your next match. And like I said, Nick had to leave me. So I'll uh, wrap this one up real quick. We're filming this right before YLS and he's on it. Oh, my God. Guys, thank you so much for being here and watching this episode of Fandom Fights. Uh, like everybody said, this was a great match. Uh, I thought the Iowish Bros played really well today and Schizo played really well uh, as well. So it's going to be exciting to see where these teams go next. But uh, for the Criterion Collection and the Kingsman, Nicholas, myself, we'll see you guys very soon with the next match. Round three of the tournament. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. We are so glad you came. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs>